Hey guys, in this video I'll go over air refueling in the Hornet. First, I'll show you how to set up TACAN for the tanker. This is not required, but it makes it easier to find where the tanker is. You click on your tanker in the mission editor and go to waypoint zero. Click advanced waypoint actions. Make sure you have something that says activate TACAN. Make sure you select the unit and you can select the channel and band here. I'm just gonna leave it on channel one and band X. If you're making a mission that other people are gonna fly on, make sure you put the TACAN code in the briefing. Click the briefing button here and type in the TACAN code. First, we need to turn on the TACAN to find the tanker. Once again, this is optional. Press the TACAN button and hold the on button and then type in your channel and click enter and select the band. Make sure you have transmit receive selected. Then go to your navigation display and you should see the TACAN show up as a triangle and then you can press TACAN and you should see a rectangle here that points to the refueler. You can also see how far away you are from it. Now we need to contact the tanker. You can contact him on the radio menu, click tanker and press intent to refuel. The tanker will tell you its speed and altitude. Now all you need to do is rejoin with the tanker. Once you get close to the tanker, you can extend the probe with this switch here. Once the probe is extended, you need to formation fly with the tanker. Once you are in formation with the tanker, you need to press ready pre-contact. If he says return pre-contact, that means you're not close enough. Ready, pre -contact. Clear contact. Once he says clear contact, he will release the drogue. And what you want to do is fly the plane to put the probe into the drogue. Now all you need to do is formation fly with the tanker. If you accidentally disconnect from the drogue, just reconnect and it will automatically start refueling again. Transfer complete. Disconnect. Once you're done refueling, he will say transfer complete and then you can break off and close the refueling probe. If you don't get it the first time, just keep practicing and eventually you'll get it. Aerial refueling is the hardest thing to do in DCS. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.